All right, so we're diving into this AI art thing. Yeah. You know, it's really got people talking. Yeah, it's definitely a hot topic. It feels like one of those things that makes you rethink what art even means. Definitely challenging some deeply held beliefs. It's like, can you really call it art when it's AI making the images? Right. You know, is the artist just some kind of prompt writer or is there more to it? It really makes you think about the nature of art and where creativity comes from. Totally. It's like someone plopped a brand new crayon in the middle of a museum and nobody knows what to do with it yet. You mentioned an analogy that I've heard a lot, actually, that AI art is like ordering food and then claiming that you're the chef. Yeah, I've heard that one, too. At first glance, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, you could see how someone might think that. But you know, when you really dig into it, there's definitely more to unpack there. So what makes a chef a chef isn't just following a recipe, right? Right. It's understanding flavors, knowing how ingredients will react, kind of being able to adjust on the fly. And having that deep knowledge of culinary techniques. To create something truly delicious. Yeah. So are you saying there's more to AI art than just typing in a prompt and hitting go? Way more. Think of it like this. The AI is like a super advanced oven. Okay. A regular oven, you just need directions, temperature, time. But this AI oven needs to understand the style you're going for, the mood you want to evoke. Interesting. That's where the artist comes in, and that takes a whole other skill set. So it's like knowing not just what you want to create, but how to get the AI to understand your vision. Exactly. How do That's... you speak the AI's language, so to speak? It really is like learning a new language. There's a whole world of techniques, things like prompt engineering where you're crafting incredibly specific phrases. Wow. Almost like you're talking to a very literal genie. Right. And then there's negative prompting, which is kind of like telling the AI what you don't want to see. Oh, that's interesting. Which can be just as important as what you do want. So there's a real art to this, just like mastering any other creative tool. Exactly. And just like any art form, there are levels to it. Yes. Anyone can learn to use a paintbrush. Yeah. But it takes, you know, dedication and talent to create a masterpiece. Couldn't have said it better myself. So same goes for AI art. It's yeah. about pushing the boundaries, experimenting. And yes, sometimes failing spectacularly. Right, which can be part of the fun too. Those happy accidents, those moments where the AI surprises you, that's where it gets really interesting. It really makes you rethink that chef analogy, huh? It's true. It's definitely more nuanced than it seems at first. It's not about taking a shortcut. It's about understanding a new set of tools and really pushing the limits of what's possible. And exploring new avenues of creativity. So let's talk about the art itself. Yeah. What are some of the arguments for why AI art deserves to be taken seriously alongside more traditional forms? That's a big question, but I think a good place to start is with what we even consider art in the first place, right? Sure. It's about expression, isn't it? Communicating ideas and emotions. Right. And I think AI art can definitely do that just in a different way. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Think about how we often talk about an artist's style, that unique way they use brush strokes, or their choice of color palette. Yeah. With AI art, the style might be in the way they craft their prompts or how they manipulate the algorithm. So it's about looking beyond the how it's made and focusing on the final product and the message behind it. Precisely. Interesting. It's like comparing a painting to a sculpture. Both are art, both evoke emotion, but they use completely different mediums. Okay, I see what you're saying. The same can be said for AI art and, say, photography. Oh, that's a good comparison. Remember when photography first came out, people thought it would be the death of painting? It's funny how history tends to repeat itself, isn't it? Every time there's a new technology, there's this knee-jerk reaction to just resist it. Exactly. But just like photography found its place, so too will AI art. And just like those early photographers experimented with light and shadow to create these stunning images, AI artists are exploring the possibilities of algorithms and data to do the same thing. So it's about expanding our definition of art, not replacing it. Exactly. And maybe even challenging our assumptions about where creativity comes from. Now you're getting it. Because if a machine can create something beautiful or thought-provoking, what does that say about our own creative process? That's the really juicy stuff, isn't it? We tend to think of creativity as this purely human trait, this spark of divine inspiration, but AI art really makes you question that narrative. It really does. It's like, if you can teach a machine to be creative, 
is it really that different from how our own brains work? Are we all just running really complex algorithms in a way? There are definitely some fascinating parallels there. And it makes you wonder, what is it about certain images, certain compositions that just resonate with us on such a deep level. It's hard to put your finger on it, but you just know it when you see it. Right. Are there underlying patterns, even in seemingly abstract art, that AI can tap into? Okay, now my head is really spinning. I know, it's a lot to think about. But while we're on the topic of AI art kind of like shaking things up, <laughs> there's one argument I keep hearing, you know, that I kind of want to dive into. Okay, yeah, what's that? This idea that AI art lacks soul, you know, Right. Like it's all just, it's cold, it's calculated algorithms, there's no heart there. Yeah, I've heard that one. And I'll admit, I've kind of felt that myself sometimes looking at some AI pieces. It's understandable, right? Because yeah. we have this very specific idea of what art is supposed to be. Yeah, and where it comes from. Right. Yeah. So how do we unpack that, that idea of soul? What does that even mean when we're talking about art? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Right. Is it about the visible brush strokes, you know, the artist's literal fingerprints on the canvas? Right, like evidence of the hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or is it something more? It's like trying to define a feeling, you know? Right. It's that moment when a piece of art just gets you, but it's hard to put into words. It's that gut punch moment. Yes, exactly. Where you just feel something really deeply. And so can AI art even if it's born from algorithms, can it evoke that same feeling? I think it absolutely can. And it might even do it in ways that we haven't even thought of before. Oh, that's interesting. Because that soul, if we want to call it that, it doesn't have to come solely from the artist's hand. It can come from the interplay of the artist's vision, the AI's capabilities, and even our own interpretations as viewers. Oh, that's a really good point. It's not just about the artist pouring their soul into it, but about what the viewer takes away from it as well. It becomes a conversation, yeah. a collaboration. It's like this combination of human and machine that creates that soul, that spark of something new and unexpected. Exactly. And isn't that exciting? This whole idea that we're entering this totally new territory where creativity is a back and forth, a true collaboration between human and machine. Yeah. It's like this dance. It really is. And we're already seeing this happen, right? There are so many artists using AI to make entirely new forms of art, things we've never seen before. Oh, totally. Like imagine AI generated music that blends classical instruments with sounds we've never even heard in nature. Wow. Or sculptures, right? Sculptures designed by algorithms that push the boundaries of what we thought was physically possible. It's like AI is giving artists a whole new set of colors to paint with, you know? A bigger palette. Pushing the boundaries of what's even possible. Absolutely. It's a bit like that feeling you get when you first discover a new band, you know? Uh -huh. And you're like, whoa, this is completely new and original, and I haven't heard anything like it before. I love that. That's a great analogy. It is. <laughs> so all this talk about pushing boundaries, you know, expanding definitions, it makes me think about something else you mentioned. AI art as like the next chapter in art history. Absolutely. It seems like every major art movement has been met with skepticism, yeah. even like outright rejection at first, right? Sure, 100%. Like who were the ones that were really controversial? Well, you look at the Impressionists, right? Oh, right. These blurry landscapes and their brush strokes were so different and unconventional. Yeah, people thought it was messy. Exactly. The critics thought they were ruining art. But look at how those rule breakers changed everything. Yeah, they're the classics now. Right. Or think about abstract expressionism, yeah. cubism, all of it. They were like, this is an art. Exactly. Every single movement that really pushed the envelope, some people just weren't ready for it. So you're saying AI art might be going through those same growing pains right now. We're living it. It's like we're seeing history repeat itself. It's true, because it's easy to look back on those movements now and think like, how could anyone have doubted that? But we're in it right now with AI art. Exactly. It's exciting. We're at the very beginning. So are we going to cling to these outdated definitions of art? Or are we going to embrace the unknown and see where this new form of expression takes us? I like to think we're on the side of embracing the unknown, you know, pushing those boundaries. I am too. But, you know, while we're on the topic of exploring the potential of AI art, there's one thing that's been on my mind. Okay, yeah. It's that whole influx of... And forgive me for the phrase, but like AI slop that's out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Know exactly what you mean. The generic landscapes, the portraits that are just a little bit off, you know. Right. It's like the Internet is being flooded with AI generated images that just feel 
I don't know. Soulless. Yeah, they're just kind of soulless and repetitive. Yeah, and you know what? I think that's just the inevitable byproduct of any new technology becoming more accessible. That's true. It's like the barrier to entry is lower, so. Exactly. Think about when everyone and their mother got their hands on Photoshop. Suddenly, we were just inundated with overly filtered images. That's a perfect analogy. It takes time, right? Yeah. It takes time for the really talented artists to emerge. For people to really, like... To master the craft. Yeah, to figure out how to use the tools in new and interesting ways. Exactly. And for the technology itself to mature a little bit, you know? That's like everyone gets a new toy and they're just trying to figure out what it can do. Exactly. It's like the early days of film, you know? Oh, yeah. The first movies were so simple, just recordings of everyday stuff. Right, like a train pulling into a station or something. Exactly. But then you have people like Melies and Griffith, these visionary filmmakers, and they saw the potential for more, you know? Yeah, to tell stories with it. To create these entire worlds within that frame. And suddenly film wasn't just a novelty anymore. It was art. And you think AI art is headed in that same direction? I think we're on the verge of something really big, yeah. So how do we separate the uh, the good from the bad? How do we find those really groundbreaking AI art pieces? What should we be looking for? That's the million dollar question. And honestly, there's no easy answer. Just like there's no one definition of good art in general. Right. But I think it starts with being open. You know, yeah. being open to new experiences, letting go of those old ideas of what art should be. Yeah. Don't be afraid to engage with AI art that challenges you, that makes you think differently, even if you don't totally get it. It's like going to a modern art museum, right? Exactly. I Sometimes you're going to look at something and you'll be like, what is that? Right, right. But that's part of the fun. Exactly. You might not get it all, but if you're willing to be challenged, to really look a little deeper. You might discover something amazing. You might find something that truly moves you, yeah. It's true. And don't be afraid to ask questions, right? Please ask away. Who made this? What were they thinking? How'd they even do it? Because the more you understand the process... The more you appreciate the art itself. Right, because it really is a collaboration. It's like a dance between the artist and the machine. And that's something we haven't really seen before, at least not on this level. And the most exciting part is, we're just getting started. The technology is changing so fast. Who knows what's next? It's like back when oil paints were invented, right? That led to the Renaissance. Who knows what kind of revolution AI will bring to the art world? You've given everyone a lot to think about today. I hope so. From the technical side of things to, you know, really big questions about what it means to be creative. It really makes you think, huh? It does. And I think it's clear this is more than just a fad. It's like a fundamental shift in how we think about art. It's a whole new world of possibilities. I hope our listeners will go out there with a sense of curiosity. Yeah, be open to new things. Embrace the unknown. Maybe even tap into that childlike sense of wonder, you know? Absolutely, because who knows? Maybe they'll be the ones creating the AI masterpieces of the future. Wouldn't that yeah. be something?